In this video, I want to talk about how we can optimize PDF scans for students so that it's just easier to read. So in upper grades or in higher education, a lot of the assigned readings that come from books or journals look something like this or they look something like this. Okay, but what we get a lot of times are articles um, that look like this. And when something is scanned like this, uh, usually the device or the application that is reading it out loud to the listener um, identifies this type of document as a, a series of images. Uh, so that's more reason why we need to uh, go back and uh, edit this so that it can be recognized as text. Let's look at how we can make this PDF more optimized, just better for reading, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll download this PDF to my computer and then I will open it up. Okay, so here is the PDF and I've opened it up and uh, the application that I'm using is called Adobe Acrobat Pro DC and I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so that we can see this better. Okay, so what I usually do first is I go into an editing mode and when I go to edit this PDF, please note that I am not changing any of the content of the PDF. All I'm doing is I'm putting it in editing mode so that I can take away all these flaws, these distracting elements that kind of got accidentally scanned um, into the document, okay? So right away, um, this editing mode breaks up the PDF, breaks up this page into parts. So it recognizes that there are some parts that are text and then there are some parts that are just extra stuff, okay? So if you click on the extra stuff, um, notice right away that it adjusts the page, adjusts the words so that it's uh, lined up in a straight line. Okay, so then once I click on it, I can just press the delete button and then click on it some more and then it automatically deletes all this extra stuff. So then I'll do the same thing for the next page and notice my mouse is spinning. It looks like there's a little stop uh, watch on there. So it's thinking and then it's adjusted the page so that it's right side up and it's broken down and it's recognized uh, which parts are text and which parts are not. And I'll just go through this document and delete all the things that get in the way. And you might not notice it from, uh, from the screen that you're watching, but it also slightly darkens the text so that it's easier to see. And then I just go through each of these pages and I do the same for all the pages. And sometimes the scan um, really dis gets really distorted. So Adobe uh, Acrobat is unable to straighten up some of the words. But um, if, you know, if the scan is um, was done so that the pages are much flatter, even if it's just tilted a little bit, it usually fixes it. But in this case here, this is just so um, messed up that Adobe is unable to recognize it and correct it. So after I've done that for a few pages, what I do is I go back to my tools tab here and then I'm ready to go to the accessibility tools and um, notice that it saved the changes that I made from the editing mode. So what I would do is I would go through each of these tools to make sure that everything is labeled um, correctly inside of the document to make it even more accessible and easy for assistive devices to read. And then I would just uh, save the document and send it back to the instructor or I'll upload it and replace the document that's uh, being provided inside of the learning management system.